Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for December 31st, 2023, from 1 John chapter 1, God's Faithfulness. Previously, we heard the Apostle John present a comprehensive view of the Christian message, emphasizing the tangible reality of Jesus Christ's existence and its implication for us as believers. John began by affirming the physical, first-hand experiences that the apostles had with our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. He stresses that their witnessing of Jesus' life, teaching, and physical presence among them. Then John portrays God as light, representing purity, truth, and righteousness. He emphasizes the absence of darkness or sin within God's nature. Then John encourages believers to align their lives with the truth and righteousness represented by God's nature as light. Walking in the light fosters fellowship with God and fellow believers, facilitated by, of course, the cleansing power from sin that Jesus alone brings. And yesterday, we heard that John confronts the denial of personal sinfulness and highlighting the importance of recognizing and confessing one's sin rather than deceiving oneself. So let's continue as the Apostle John writes for us from 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So John provides assurance and guidance regarding forgiveness and restoration with these words, which hold some very important elements. First of all, John encourages believers to acknowledge and confess their sins before God. Confession involves recognizing, admitting, and expressing remorse for one's wrongdoing and sin against God and others. When we confess our sins, we're also confessing our need for a Savior, who is Jesus the Christ. So, for the Christian... We should never be afraid to confess our sins because in doing so, we are confessing that we need Jesus. Next, John assures believers that God is faithful and just. When we confess our sins sincerely, God remains faithful to his promises of forgiveness and just in his act of pardoning us. This is the key part of the verse, that God is faithful to his promises. We have the forgiveness of sins through our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. However, Satan does not want you to realize that. This is why John is writing these words, so that you will realize that we are forgiven through our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. God's justice is displayed, of course, in Christ's atoning sacrifice when he dies on the cross, forgiving us our sins and giving us the victory over sin, death, and the devil. I love what the psalmist David says in Psalm chapter 54, verse 4, against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. John may have had this psalm in mind when he's writing this letter. Because of our sins against God and others, we deserve nothing but death and damnation. However, because we have a Savior, Jesus the Christ, who dies on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, John needs to remind us then, As a result of our trust in the promises of God, when we confess our sins, God graciously forgives us our sins. He not only pardons us, but he also cleanses us from all unrighteousness, 
offering a complete restoration of our relationship with him. So this verse highlights the relational aspect of forgiveness between individuals and God. This verse also emphasizes God's faithfulness in forgiving sins when we repent, we confess, and we trust in the promises of God, and we acknowledge our faults, receive forgiveness, and experiencing the cleansing power of God's grace through our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. God's peace and many blessings be with you, and thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.